just conscious that they will yeah, pass the front of the camera know, for the yeah, live streaming. Yeah, yeah, Here they come. We'll give them a second. They're just coming in. So welcome back, everybody. Um, I'm delighted to now ask the team who's leading Cork yep. uh, with their project Disciplines Inquiring into Societal Challenges. Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, thanks very much for the invitation to present today. Um, our project is called Disciplines Inquiring into Societal Challenges, or DISCs for short, and the subtitle is Enhancing Teaching and Learning for Active Citizenship. So the project team, as you can see here, consists of myself, uh, my teaching and learning colleagues, Dr. Morgan Monroe and Dr. Audrey Bryan, who are here with me presenting, and also Dr. Bernie Grummel from Maynooth University. And uh, along with the teaching and learning partners, we have uh, partners from each student union who are VPs for academic affairs or education officers in terms of their respective titles. Uh, so we have Aaron Freyhill, uh, Callan Commons, and Katie Deegan for each, from each of the student unions in each institution as part of our uh, project team. Now, this team is multidisciplinary in terms of our backgrounds, and that's important to understanding the project itself. We have people who have uh, discipline, our disciplinary knowledge of social sciences, diversity pedagogy, education technology, biology, um, economics, mathematics, etc. So quite a diverse team. And I suppose um, the reason why we want to put this project in place is because you know, there's been a lot of advances in terms of diversifying the medium of teaching and learning in this country and across the world. Uh, what we want to bring to this, along with diversifying the medium, is diversifying the message of teaching and learning so that um, our, our students and our staff, uh, all staff who teach, are capable of engaging with societal challenges and with the sensitive, sensitive topics towards building active citizens uh, in our universities. So there are three, um, I suppose, elements to what we want to cont contribute through this project. The first is to select, profile and develop 15 DISCs champions. Uh, and what, what those champions will be doing is um, uh, bench benchmarking themselves against a publicly available online tool in terms of uh, their self-assessment. They will be providing proof of concept in terms of our pilot values, competencies, uh, methods and outcomes model, uh, and they'd also be acting as advocates for the DISCs project uh, across the country and internationally as well, we hope, um, while also creating narratives online of their professional development journey. Uh, the second aspect of the project is modeling engagement of student learning, student experiences and student ideas through um, activities like uh, interdisciplinary online student assemblies, uh, student focus groups, um, empirical research, that, that empirical research with students, uh, the advice of our student union partners, and also partici developing participatory uh, assessment methods uh, with students during the project. And finally, the, uh, the key goal of the project is to develop a roadmap that would support our institutions in Ireland across the country, across the island, uh, in terms of uh, developing a strategy and an implementation plan for teaching for societal challenges across disciplines. So what will this project deliver um, in more concrete terms? Well, I suppose ethical and value-laden issues um, are, are no discipline or classroom is, is, is exempt from looking at ethical or value-laden issues, even if they think they are sometimes. Um, and what our project will deliver, I suppose, is to enhance the national for professional development framework in terms of uh, the different aspects of professional knowledge and skills, personal um, identity development, uh, prof uh, professional values, um, and also digital, digital competencies, etc., and, and communication and dialogue competencies as well. Um, what we'll be doing is focusing on three national strategic pr priorities for our country in terms of teaching and learning, and that's inter an intercultural focus, a gender conscious focus, and a community oriented focus. Um, and I suppose in order to cohere that, what we'll be doing is develop, uh, developing a series of tools, guidelines, exemplars, and a literature review, which will, um, I suppose, put, put a focus to those three strategic priorities. So in concrete terms, the deliverables for this project are, first of all, as I've mentioned, an international literature review. Um, and that literature review will build um, understanding of the key values, competencies, methods, and learning outcomes that are, uh, all, those who who, all those staff who teach uh, need to develop in order to become, I suppose, what we're calling DISCs engaged. Um, so that will be available on the project website at the end of quarter one. And also we'd like to disseminate that, disseminate that in the Balbao uh, Eurosatel conference um, in June. 
the second piece of, of the puzzle, I suppose, and a really key part of it is the Spikey Profile Online Tool. Some of you may be aware of this tool. Uh, we've, we've, we're currently using it in UCC, um, and UCC will provide a platform for it to be uh, available publicly or, or will support that platform. So uh, essentially what the Spikey Profile Tool is an online tool that will become publicly available over the course of the project for uh, staff in any institution, any, any staff who teach, to uh, self-assess themselves in relation to we, what we are calling disks, values, competencies, methods and outcomes. And to give you some concrete examples of what that would look like, um, staff would be uh, completing a questionnaire at various points in their professional development trajectory, uh, looking at, I suppose, values, for example, like student backgrounds that differ from mine must be engaged as appropriate in my teaching and whether they actually agree with that or not. Uh, it is important to equally engage students of different genders in teaching and learning because of the issues around, say, males versus females um, and the different levels of public engagement uh, that can happen in a classroom or online uh, or on campus. So in terms of methods, for example, uh, in terms of a community-based learning method, I can support students to create shared digital artifacts such, of, such as, for example, hypertext to, collaborative, to collaboratively write with a community group. Um, or I can moderate online or on-campus discussions about sensitive issues using a brave space methodology, so having ground rules for how we uh, conduct conversations in face-to-face uh, in -face and online. So there's just some examples, and what would happen through that tool is that um, as, I suppose a spiky graph would be developed where uh, we can identify places where the person is doing well, but also gaps um, that they need to fill, or that they could fill, I suppose, in the context of, of their professional development journey. And this tool itself will then provide automatically generated recommendations for places to go in order to further develop uh, your competencies in, in those areas. So. Um, Getting back to the, to the other deliverables, I suppose during the lifetime of the project we will be um, developing a strategy and implementation plan which is a key aspect of the Strand 1 uh, proposals. Um, so there's a couple of elements to that, which some of which, which will be disseminated during the life of the project and obviously then launched at the very end of the project in terms of the strategy and implementation plan. So the first piece is uh, that ongoing creation of a uh, narrative publicly on our website uh, for individual champions regarding their professional development journey. Clearly, we'll need to work with the individual champions in order to create those narratives. Um, they'll also be sharing um, Things like module activities, uh, students will be, will be inviting, to, uh, inviting students to put up blogs and vlogs, as well as staff, um, as part of that journey, as part of creating that professional development narrative and, that, and exemplifying, I suppose, to publicly what we're doing. Um, uh, the next piece in terms, so, uh, and we'd also like to, given that the International SOTL Conference in Atlanta in October 2019 is focused on uh, SOTL without borders and looking at social change, I think it's a really imp op good opportunity for us as a team to exemplify what we're doing, given as well, I suppose, the challenges that are there for universities across Europe uh, and internationally in dealing with sensitive topics and societal challenges, conflicts of values, etc. Um, the final a few pieces in terms of deliverables for the project include uh, the strategy and the, uh, the implementation document itself, which I said will, will integrate the National Professional Development Framework. The project, um, will be a, the project website will be a living implementation site, and finally the DISC champions themselves will be trained up to the level of leaders and advocates for um, their own particular uh, domains and for the DISC uh, project itself. So I'll hand over next to Morag. So my name is Morag Monroe and I'm going to take you through the implementation plan for the proposed DIST project. Um, so it's our intention to kick off the project in um, January 2019 um, and the first two phases of um, 2019, the first two quarters, um, consist of two overlapping uh, work packages. The first one is our project um, initiation and recruitment phase um, and during that phase we will first of all come together as a project team to focus in on agreeing our project objectives. We'll also begin work on developing the spiky profiling tool that Carl mentioned earlier. Also in terms of recruitment at that stage, we will be looking to recruit a project officer to support us in the implementation of the project. We'll also be recruiting our DISCS champions um, and we'll do that by using the spiky profile tool to profile those members of staff who have expressed an interest in becoming DISCS champions. And our aim will be to come up with 15 DISCS champions who represent a diverse range of disciplines and backgrounds. 
Our phase 1B is going to be focused on the development of our values, competencies, methods and outcomes model. And as Carl said, that will be based on an international literature review of policy and research in relation to teaching um, for societal issues. Also in phase 1B, we will make the DISC's spiky profile kit, um, toolkit available publicly online. Uh, phase two of the project will begin in July 2019 and that's going to be focused on the professional development planning for our DISCS champions. So we'll work with each of the DISCS champions to develop a personal development plan for each of them. Um, and that plan will be aligned with the DISCS values, competencies, methods and outcomes model and also with the National Forum's professional development framework. Um, in doing that, when we're identifying professional development opportunities, we will, as far as is possible, look to leverage existing resources. So, for example, the AHEAD digital badge um, for supporting universal de design that's been developed um, through the National Forum, and also the LEAD programme, which was developed through the Irish Universities Association Equality Network. Phase three of the project will be the rollout of professional development and also the rollout of the implementation of DISC's principles um, in our DISC champions teaching. And um, so that'll begin around September 2019. Um, and again, we'll work with the DISC's champions to support them to implement DISC's uh, principles into their learning and teaching. Also in that phase, we'll begin to support um, the our participants, both student and staff, to begin to disseminate um, and share their experiences, as Carl said, so for example through video logs and so on. The fourth phase of the project um, will commence around January 2020. Um, that first of all is going to be focused in on um, looking at how we will evaluate the project and planning for the evaluation. Um, we'll also be focused in on um, Working, beginning work on our DISC's um, strategy and implementation plan, a key part of the project. Then finally in phase five, we will evaluate, evaluate the project with our DISC's um, champions and with students. Um, we'll also be very much working with the DISC's champions to support them in developing their leadership capacities um, to ensure the continued rollout of the approach uh, across um, other uh, departments and across um, further institutions. And then finally, in that phase, we will hold a national event to launch the DISC's strategy and implementation plan. So I'm going to talk, hand over to Audrey now, who's going to talk about um, the sustainability of the project. Thanks, Morag. Um, Audrey Bryan, School of Human Development, DCU. Um, so just very briefly then, in, in terms of impact, um, well, we will work in partnership with students and student representatives through the, um, the online and, and uh, student assemblies um, and focus groups to create dialogue among students uh, in terms of what really matters to them in terms of um, methods and content. We will, as um, Carl and Morag have mentioned the Spikey Profile, we will disseminate online tools including the Spikey Profile which will have reach beyond our three academic institutions and beyond Ireland's borders. And the Spikey Profile will provide statistics on usage as well as a clear message on impact. And the champions will act as advocates for strategy and implementation plan both online and through local bite-sized and national presentations to staff and students. Um, Thirdly, um, we will disseminate um, findings from um, the project during the life cycle of the project itself. Um, so the, uh, the, the next um, international SOTL conference is, is actually titled SOTL Without Borders, Engaged Practices for Social Change. Um, so that just sort of demonstrates the, kind of the relevance of our project. Um, fourthly, we're going to leverage um, our complementary implementation of national priorities of intercultural, gender conscious and community based teaching and learning in, um, in strategy um, and planning documentations to propose that the DISC strategy and implementation plan becomes a higher education uh, authority approved model of best practice. 
And then finally, the positioning of Carl as the chair of the Irish University's Equality Network uh, will support the integration of DISCs into future institutional strategic plans for teaching and learning and for broader third level strategic planning in general. Thank you very much.